Hey guys, welcome back to Simply Kayla. I'm Kayla and I'm so excited to be back. I am going to be uploading on Tuesdays and Saturdays now, so make sure you tune in and catch up on all my videos. So today, I'm excited because I am going to be starting a new segment on my channel and it's called Makeup and Story Times. So I'm really excited to introduce this because I am going to be doing my makeup, which is kind of combining beauty, but then also telling you guys a story just so you guys get to know me a little bit more and all the things that have happened in my life because I have some interesting stories, guys. I have interesting stories. So I'm excited about this and I hope you guys like this video. Um, so yeah, let's get into this. Okay, before I start telling the story and doing my makeup, I just want to give a disclaimer that this story will not be using anyone's real names, probably my family because they were they were there and I'm quite sure they don't mind. But other than them, any outside people that's not my family, their names will not be mentioned at all. So just disclaimer. Also too, this is coming from my perspective and how I felt during this situation. So Again, this is not going to be bashing anyone, so I don't want anyone to feel like I'm bashing you because, no, this has taken place, what, like, 14 years ago. Like, I moved on. Everybody in my family and situation has moved on. So, again, no one's upset about it. It's just a, it's just a story that has happened, and it literally has happened. I have mul multiple people that can back up this story. And, again, this I'm telling it from my perspective because... It happened to me okay so just disclaimer so i'm if i'm looking over to here it's going to be because my mirror is in this vicinity so yes okay so getting to this story this happened i'll say when i was like 14 years old so i think 13 14 years ago i'm 27 now so i think like 13 years ago now and this took, took place in Florida with my church. So automatically, this trip was, I thought it was going to be totally different because this wasn't my first time going away with the church. Um, I had went away like maybe like, I think like a year or so or maybe a year or two before this situation had happened. And so I definitely had a different experience from then that trip to this Florida trip. Um, so the Florida trip, we drove down. My cousin, my oldest cousin, Ty, he drove a van down for like all like basically like all the teenagers and that were going on a trip, rode in a van, this green van, and it was tight. It was, um, I felt, I think I was, if I remember correctly, I felt like I was squished on this, on this ride down to Florida. This ain't right. Like I was uncomfortable on the van. And like, you know how when people sit, some people like spread out a little. So it just makes the whole, it can make everyone else around you a little uncomfortable, you know? <laughs> So yeah, so the ride from Florida, from where I live to Florida, is literally a 20 plus hour drive. And um, and once you get into Florida, just to get to Orlando itself, is a drive too. So the whole thing was like, it was a lot. <laughs> it was a whole process. It was just, it was just a lot, you know? But... So on the trip, again, it was just like a bunch of us teenagers and my cousin chaperoning and a few other people chaperoning us. And um, so I, me, so it was me, my oldest cousin Fawn, I think she was at this time either 17 or 18 years old, depending on the time of the, of when the trip happened and her birthday. So I'm assuming she was around those two, those two ages. If I was 14, my other cousin, Deshaun, was like 13. So we, um, but the three of us, we were all going to be going under this lady who 
said that she was going to be like our trip, like she was gonna be like our trip mom. So she was gonna make sure that we have food. I just want you to know if you need anything, don't be shy, okay? There are no rules in this house. I'm not like a regular mom, I'm a cool mom. <laughs> Providing like chaperone, like for our, like you know, to make our family feel comfortable. We didn't actually stay at the hotel. We stayed at someone's. Someone let us use their like timeshare from the church as well. So like, you know that I think that cut down on the cost. So like my my parents and my aunt they were okay with this because they were like, okay, the girls are gonna be together. Um, if anything, they have this chaperone, which we're gonna name her because the problem was with her. So we're gonna name her. Apple. Apple. That's going to be her name. Boy, if you don't get... And so they're like, oh, they're going to be with Apple. So everything should be good. Like we'll send them money for like spending and like food and things like that. And she was like, oh, you don't have to worry about a lot of stuff because um, I don't know if she had... Um, food stamps or somebody else have food stamps and they were letting us use it so we wouldn't have to worry about like always buying food and she'll cook and make sure that like basically like, hook us up and this is what she told my parents and my aunt and this made them feel comfortable because it was like okay the three girls they have each other but then they also have this this chaperone like this mom tr mom on the trip who's gonna make sure that we're all good and we're all taken care of and yeah so that's what the impression was. That's how, that's how, that's how, that's what my, everyone else was told, okay? And telling the story. I literally put some concealer down, put some powder on just to make sure that it's all good. And I'm going to be using this palette. I had it for a while now, but I just barely, I don't use eyeshadow. I don't use eyeshadow. So it's just literally been sitting here. That's why it looks like this. Like basically it looks untouched because I don't, I don't use, I don't use it, <laughs> but I am going to go in with this, like, dark color right here. So, yeah, so, you know, my parents and my aunt, they felt comfortable because, well, it was, like, all of us on the trip, and, yeah, if anything... If anything will happen or whatever, we could always go to my oldest cousin, Ty, and also too on the trip was my oldest brother, CJ, and then my third oldest brother, Char. So it wasn't like we were like the only, like we were there by ourselves with no other family members, but like, you know, we had family and, um, but you'll figure out, like, you'll learn later on more. But yeah, my family, um, so it was a lot of us, like actually for family, it was a lot of us on this trip. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this other palette from ColourPop. Um, this is from years ago, honestly, guys. So I really don't know if these eyeshadow palettes still exist. But yeah, I just, you can see, I have, I have not touched these. Like, so that's why I'm like using them. I don't know if they expire, if they're not good anymore. I don't know, but they're going to work today. So I'm going to go in with the color, hmm, what do I feel like? I think I'm going to go in with the color Jackpot. Okay, so I'm going to come back to my eyeshadow after, but I'm going to go in with my primer. So wherever I put that, oh, I think I found it. So... You know, that's who we were going to be staying with during the trip. My brothers, they were going to be staying at the hotel. So, yeah. But mind you, where we were staying at was not even close to the hotel. So, it was just like, it was a drive, actually. Like, it, it literally was a drive from where we were staying to the hotel. Every day, we were going back and forth to um the hotel so i don't know if i said why we were in florida i know i said with like the church but we were for there for um convention so it was like a bunch of other churches getting together and we, we had like workshops um different things going on each day for like the church 
members to attend and things like that. So yeah, that's why we were there for, for it. So we finally had gotten to Florida. We got to our place, and the place that we stayed was in was really nice. Um, it was like really, it was really nice. Um, so no, it was no complaints there. We were all excited as girls. Like um, at the place we were staying at, it was me, my two cousins, the house mom Apple, um, and a few other people that were all staying there together. So. I'm about to mess up my my whole makeup routine. I'm like all off. <laughs> I think it's because I'm trying to talk, think of this, like tell the story and then also like concentrate on my makeup routine. Like I'm over here like, I don't know, <laughs> struggling. So this was like me and my cousins our first time going to Florida. I have not never went back to Florida. So this is literally my only experience of Florida was this was this time going to Orlando with the church. Tragic. Tragic. So and I won't tell you it wasn't the greatest experience now. Okay, so we are in Florida, like you know, excited to be there. We you know, we were young kids and stuff like that. So we didn't really um, stand up for ourselves and speak up when we knew certain things weren't right um, before it got to the point of where I wanted to fight this grown lady. She was like in her, I think probably in her 30s, like early 30s or late 20s or so. And I'm 14 years old. Like I really wanted to fight this grown woman like if you I'm gonna insert a picture of myself during this during this time but you'll see that I look like a little I'm I still look young but like back then your girl looked baby I looked baby and I was so upset um but yeah so when we got there and like again like how I said that certain things were like talked about amongst our parents so like in this in apple and so we all had like this expectation of what was going to be happening and a lot of that wasn't that um if you talk to my brothers and their experience with the florida trip and our our experience it was completely different worlds you think we you would have thought that we were on two separate vacations that we weren't even in the same vicinity at all um so most of our days were filled with going to like the workshops so we had to go to the workshops like we didn't um we literally did not go like any sightseeing or anything like that like we literally was at the hotel um basically by the pool but like we did not experience like florida like we really did not experience florida um we didn't go anywhere we ate at the restaurants that you can have up here like you went to Popeyes all the time like come on like who wants to eat Popeyes while you're in Florida on vacation like if you live there okay once in a while whatever but we're from Connecticut like we have Popeyes like we eat Popeyes like we don't have to like when you go away who wants to eat the same stuff that you eat where you get at home like that's not even the whole point like my brothers they were trying like this um Italian like authentic Italian restaurant and they were having like pastas like they were eating like royalty while we were eating like nothing you know we were just literally buying um takeout all the time and like there was no of uh, like no cooking there was like no snacks no nothing that was talked about and discussed with my parents was being that like that wasn't happening so we were like it was felt like we were told totally different things than what we were experiencing on this trip. And I don't know, maybe something happened with the food stamp situation. I don't know. I really don't know about it. But I will say we we literally ate the same from the same place all the time. It was I think it was Popeyes and Olive Garden. I never even ate Olive Garden up here, like at home, back at home. But in Florida we had we sure was eating at um, Olive Garden too. Like, and that's not really like, I don't know. 
I know everyone's different. Like, you know, everyone wants to experience. Like, some people like to eat what they know. I'm cool with that. But, again, not almost the whole time we eat at the same restaurants. Like, like every day we're going to have Popeye's or every other day. And the other days we go to Olive Garden. Like, who wants to eat that all, literally all the time? Like, that's not on a trip the same thing over and over, you know? So, again, so... Yeah, so most of the time on the trip, we were actually, most of our days were spent in workshops or like if we weren't in workshops, we were sitting by the pool or in, sitting in the lobby. We weren't really doing much on this trip. Like we weren't other than going to Popeye's, going to the workshop and sitting by the pool. That's what we did. Um, so we didn't really, like, that's why I say I didn't have, like, we didn't really have like a true experience of going to Florida um, and so yes yeah, so I definitely would like to go back to Florida just because just to actually experience what it was supposed to be like for us um, so yeah so we did a lot of workshops and going to like um, preparing for like being in the I think it was like the youth choir um, and preparing like learning new songs and things like that so we were just doing that, <laughs> literally. Um, so yeah, so that wasn't like, I think for us, we really didn't like think anything of it. Like, um, oh, may, well, I can only speak for myself. I know I didn't really think much of it. I just thought, I'm like, okay, we're just going to go to the workshops. Um, and that's it. I didn't really think much into the situation at hand. So... So yeah, but I think my cousin, my oldest cousin Ty, he will he I think at the in the moment he didn't realize, but I think after he really thought it was off. Like when he tells the story about it, like if I had him on here, he would tell this story it's so funny, honestly. But I think for him, like one night they just stopped by, him and my brothers and like I think a few other people I don't um came to and we they picked us up and they took us to like literally the gas station like probably like around the corner or something like that from where we were staying at and my cousin said he just remembers like sitting in the van us all us girls like running out of our, of the van and we're like going crazy at this store like this gas station basically this convenience store and we were like just grabbing like different chips and snacks and stuff like that and my cousin he says like he was like in the car like shocked him and whoever else was in the car they were like off like they were shocked of how we were acting like almost like we weren't eating really because we really weren't eating much um and so yeah it was just like my i think my cousin he really did think at that moment that something was off um and probably just sitting like but like you think something like oh my gosh like why are they acting like that like what is going on like why are they sitting here grabbing all this chips and stuff like that and acting like they have eight days like you know but in reality i think i don't remember how like we were eating and stuff like that but like we were just eating the same stuff so we probably were just like over it like you know what i mean and but all of us, like, we were, like, excited about this, like, going to the store and just getting, like, chips and stuff like that. And just really, like, like, snacking, like, snacking and stuff like that. And um, getting, like, different stuff so that we could have stuff for later. Like, you know what I mean? And um, this is the money our parents sent with us, like, you know. So it wasn't like we were using her money. But we were def we were using our parents for the snack, like our spending money and stuff like that. Definitely came from our parents. Um, but again, I think for me that really wasn't that wasn't something that was even really on my mind. Like we were just like again, I didn't know very much. Like um, living the shelter life, you don't think anything other than oh, you're just enjoying. Like, oh, we're on the way. Like, okay, this is a little odd. Like, we don't really travel like this. Like, we, like, me and my family travel. But I'm like, everyone travels different. Like, everyone's not going to travel the same way. So I didn't think 
anything of it, like, you know, until one day, you know, we go to, um, we're at the hotel and we decided to visit my brother in his room. That shouldn't be an issue, right, guys? Right? Like, I'm, like, it's me, my two cousins, and this girl. So it was just like, no, so, so it was the four of us girls. So, um, we're going to call us, it was me, my cousin Fawn, my cousin Deshauna, and my, uh, um, and this girl, we're going to call her Blue, right? So the four of us go, and in the room, we, is my, bro is my brother's room, is him, his best friend, um, and nobody liked it. Like, to that, like, had a crush, no one liked him in that, that way. Everyone looked at, you know, and my other cousin. So it was literally five of us that were related. Five of us that were related and two people that were just friends. So was anything happening in this room with basically family? No. And five of us were really related. Like, so it was nothing happening between us. So Apple comes and she is just, this is upset. She is saying, oh, you guys are not supposed to be in boys' rooms and this is unacceptable. Like just going, literally just going off on us because we were in the room with my brother and like, and we're like, we're all related. Like, what's the big deal? Like, what's the big deal? We're all family. Like, this should not be an issue. But for some reason, it was an issue. Like, it literally was a huge issue. And, and this is what triggered me, this situation. Like, all the other stuff, to me, I didn't care about. And I still really don't care about those situations with, like, the food and, like, just not not meeting what our parents' expectations were of what the trip was supposed to be. Um, like, to me, I don't really, I honestly don't care about that. Um, that's not, that was not, like, that was not why I was upset. If I got upset was because, of how she came into that room how she was yelling at us how she was talking to us mind you i'm a sensitive like person like i still am to this day i don't like being yelled at i don't like um i'm really sensitive with tone of voice and things like that um and i don't yeah i just don't take i don't take that really well at all and I'm going to finish the story before I go into my eyeshadow, my, my mascara and stuff like that. And so for me, again, I, I, everyone will say the same thing about me. My demeanor, I'm very quiet. I don't really cause trouble. I don't really, um, I don't do much, honestly. And back then, I was really, really quiet. I was really shy. Um. And a lot of people don't see my personality because I am so, like, to myself, I am so quiet and things like that. So this trip, when this whole situation went down, everybody, everybody was shocked about how I reacted, even, even my own family. And so, so yeah, so she comes into the room and she's yelling at us like, oh, you guys are not supposed to be in the, um, the, the room with boys and all this other stuff. Now, I start getting upset. And um, I don't remember like how getting to like the lobby area, like, but we we're back in the lobby now and I was furious. And I remember this late other lady, let's give her the name. Stacy, Stacy comes and she's a minister and stuff like that. And she, but she's young. She's, um, I say she was like late twenties, early thirties or so. And so she comes over and she's trying to talk to me, mind you. And I'm upset 
leave me alone because you're not getting into you're not going to get through to me i am just going to give you this look and that means back up and leave me alone like leave me alone I was literally ready for Apple. And yes, I was 14 years old. Yes, if you look at the pictures, you'll see that I looked baby. Because I was baby. Like, you know what I mean? I still look young for my age. But back then, I looked I looked young. Like, yes, I was 14 years old. But I probably could pass for like a 10-year-old, you know? And so I was upset. And Stacy's literally trying to talk to me. She's trying to calm me down and things like that. I remember my cousin, he always, he loves to tell this story because this is his first time actually ever seeing me upset because I don't get upset often. But when I do get upset, everybody will know. Because I am completely not calm and quiet like how I usually am when I'm fine, I'm good, whatever. But when you t do something to me or you trigger me like how this lady triggered me, a whole different side of me comes out and so my cousin he was just he I remember him saying that he walked around the corner and he sees Stacy talking to me and he said the look on my face he just he stopped and he was laughing because he was like oh my gosh she is ready to like she's ready to I was so I was so ready I was so ready for Apple that day I was so ready and I don't know where Apple went after she yelled at us but sis was I don't know where she was but she poof out of there and so but I was so ready for her and um so yeah and but then my cousin he finally comes over everyone's trying to calm me down they were like please please don't call your dad because I was ready I was gonna call my dad and if I call my dad him my mom my other brother my aunt my grandmother all would have rolled down to Florida, and my dad, knowing my dad, he probably was still got there at some point, and the next morning or whatever, he would have been there. <laughs> and it would have been all hell if my parents and my aunt got to that hotel. If they knew, because we did not call them, because they want to avoid the whole situation and stuff like that. They didn't want it to be because they know they know my they know my dad. They know my dad. And so everybody's trying to convince me not to call him, which they you could tell obviously they convinced me not to call him call him. But I was so ready for Apple and it was the worst trip because we literally did nothing that whole trip to Florida. Like we literally didn't, it wasn't even like, we just did workshops. Like we were a workshop for all day, basically all day. And we didn't do anything. We, we hung out, yes, at the pool, but how much like on a trip you want to hang out at the pool? Maybe you want to go somewhere. Like let's go to the stores. Like we don't have to buy stuff, but like let's actually do other stuff than versus just sitting there or like eating at Popeye's every day. Who wants to, like no offense if you like Popeye's, like, okay. But like, no offense, I don't want to eat Popeyes every single day. And also, too, you told my parents that you were going to be cooking for us and having make sure there's snacks and juice and stuff like that for us back at the place. But there was nothing at the place for us. And so it was just, it was literally a nightmare of a trip, to be quite honest. And um, so I, I wanted to fight her. Even after that, I still wanted to fight her. And I feel like, I feel like, I don't know if this is correct or not, but I feel like they try to have like a sit down or something like that. I don't really remember. But literally, I did not mess with Apple after that. It took me years to be able to look at her the same because I just didn't respect how you treated us and how she talked to us. Like, like, yes, we were kids, but the way you talk to kids and stuff like that, you still talk to them with respect. And if you would have sat down and explained to us, oh, why you didn't want us in the room with my brother and my other cousin, then we could have understood. 
but the fact that you came in there and you were yelling at us and acting like we were doing something wrong, we weren't doing anything wrong. And um, and also, so you just didn't keep your promise to my parents and my aunt who trusted you with us. We were young girls, like we were young girls, and we this was our first time like going to Florida. Like it wasn't my first time being away from my parents, but my parents knew I had a great time when we went to Virginia Beach and they had trusted this other lady with me and my experience with in Virginia Beach was completely different than my trip to Florida and it was because of our trip mom and um so it was just it was terrible and so you know I think after that it just kind of was just awkward after after that and it was just really uncomfortable so it wasn't really even again like we enjoyed being there. I like to speak for myself. I didn't enjoy being there. And so yeah, so then coming back home, we get this, it was a nightmare. Like the trip just seemed like it was just a nightmare, a nightmare and a nightmare just pop, like just kept happening, you know what I mean? And so on our way back, you know, we get this phone call saying that, oh, we're in danger. Like we're gonna like, we gotta be careful. Like. The devil's trying to attack us on this trip. We are like, so it just freaked us out. I remember my cousin fall on calling my aunt because we were just like, it was scary. Like this lady said that, you know, prophesied like something, like she basically had like a a vision or something like that, that we were like in danger and things like that. So automatically we were on edge. We were scared now. <laughs> so it was just like, it was just something else after this. And so then we were like driving and there was this big bad like rainstorm like it was like where you looked out the window and it looked just pure white you couldn't see anything in front of us the luggage on the top of the van like of the van started flying off flying off on the highway and so because my dad going down my dad had tied all the the bags, the, well, the bags that had to go up on top of the car, my dad had tied them down. I don't know how he did it, but he tied that thing down and they didn't go anywhere. But coming back, everyone else had to do it. My dad wasn't there. So it did not, it wasn't the same result like how my dad's was. So the bags started flying off, flying off the top of the truck at the end. And so now my brother and this other guy had to like, they got out the, like my cousin he like pulled into a ditch i felt like i think i was asleep and i woke up to us like going into the ditch and so my brother and my my brother and this other guy they um they open the doors and they run out to get try to get get the luggage thankfully my luggage wasn't in there so that's good but anyways so they go and they're trying to get all the the bags off the highway like Pouring down rain, I'm telling you, rain. They come, they came back into the van, drenched, drenched, and so it was just, it was literally a nightmare after the next. I'm like, that was like the longest trip that would not end, and that was my only time that I ever went to Florida. So once we get back, you know, we tell my parents everything that had happened, how the trip was, because you know they're curious. Oh, how was Florida? Like enjoy yourselves and we told what happened of us being yelled at um us eating at Popeyes because they were like wait y'all didn't get groceries and stuff like that we were like no and my brothers they didn't really know they didn't know about how our experience was because if you talk to them their experience of the trip was is was completely different my cousin Ty he didn't know about uh, like he didn't know what was going on at the the place and things like that so my parents my and my aunt they were upset they were upset because they were like like what happened yeah, you know what i mean and i feel like they might have chipped in to make sure that we had snacks and stuff there too i'm not sure that happened but so yeah and so they were upset and literally especially with how she was talking to us and things like that my dad literally wanted to talk to her so bad but she avoided my dad like the plague literally for like a year or so she avoided my dad like the plague and my dad wanted to get her so bad like not 
he just wanted to talk what he was gonna probably cuss her out but he wanted to talk to her so bad but she avoided my whole family like the plague and i'm telling you i look, could not look at her the same for a few years after that situation because i still just never appreciated how she talked to us like you do not come and yell at us like that we're not your children you're not our mom you're not like you're not our you're not our parent and so but now i can look at her and i'm like hey sis she seems like she's doing well so i have no hard feelings towards her like she's she, she seems like she's prospering which is always good you know but yeah that time was crazy so let me finish my makeup hey guys so i just finished my mascara and my lips i hope you guys enjoy this video make sure you like you comment you subscribe if you want to see more of me doing my makeup and telling this story time just comment down below and i hope you guys enjoy this make sure you like everything you know but i'll see you guys next week in another video thanks for watching Thank you.